Hello everyone, my name is Rata Gutia. Today I'm gonna present on a topic of introduction to emerging technology. This is a chapter one of emerging technology as you see now. So if you are a newcomer for this channel, please subscribe and hit the bell button, then like, share and a comment if you like this video. Let's start. As an outline, the first one is the evolution of technology. Under the evolution of technology, we will see the introduction to industrial revolution. We will see the historical backgrounds of each industrial revolution, that means from industrial revolution one to three, and also the fourth industrial revolution. Revolution. Then we discuss about some the role of data for the emerging technology. What is the role of data? or emerging technology and also we will see some enabling device and networks for technology that means some programmable device or any reconfigurable devices the fourth of the fourth one is human to machine interaction under this topic we will see how machine can interact with human and also how human can interact with machine that is what we call is human machine human to machine introduction we will see these concepts the last one is some future trends of emerging technology as you know every technology have own features so what is the future trends of the emerging technology is the last concept of this chapter we will see let us start the uh, introduction of evolution of technology <clears throat> when we say emerging technology is a term generally generally used to describe a new technology that means any new technology or any innovative technology which we get in a real environment is what we call is emerging technology that is why we say it is a new technology and also it is possible to say that any developed technology which can be continually developed into of existing technology also what we call is emerging technology that means any continuing development of the existing technology which may be a exist within five to ten years is also what we call is emerging technology the other concept what you must what you must understand to define the term emerging technology is we cannot define emerging technology with single terms so we will focus on some terminology that means whenever we define the term emerging technology we have we we have different meanings depending on the area where you're gonna where you're gonna apply for example for media for business, for science, for education. Each each area have own definition of emerging technology. We cannot define emerging technology as we define for media. We cannot define emerging technology for as we define me for media. We cannot define for business. So each each area have own definition or own terminology. And also the second concept is technological evolution. What does it mean with te when we say technological evolution? It's a term of a radical transformation of a society through technological development. That means whenever a society transformed, whenever society is transformed from the manual production to machine production through the technology, through the technology which means some radical transformation is what we call is technological evolution technological evolution so we simply define whenever a society whenever a society shift from manual production to from manual production to machine production through technology is what we call is technological evolution the other concept is about technology when we say technology, this term is derived from two terms. The first one is <coughs> techno, the second one is logy. When we say techno, techno is, techno is any art, any art or any craft is what we call is techno. But when it comes to logy, logy is a subjectivity of study or it is subjectivity of study or it is interest. It is from Greek 
Technology. say technology systematic treatment of an art. Any systematic treatment of an art, any systematic treatment of a craft or any technique to apply to apply on art or any craft is what we call is technology. The meaning is any scientific science the science of the mechanical or the industrial arts is also what we call is technology. The second concept is about evolution. Evolution means the process of developing by gradual change simply. Any process of developing by gradual changes, what we call is evolution. The difference between technological evolution and uh, uh, evolution is evolution is any gradual change. Any gradual change, we can say evolution. Any gradual change, we can say evolution. But to say technological evolution, if some technological terms are exist, that means whenever we apply some kinds of uh, some kinds of technological terms, that means maybe whenever society is using some machines to try to do some activity or if it's a society shift from manual to a computerized based or hand production to machine production we can say technological evolution but when with the concept of evolution any process of developing by gradual change is evolution this is some list of currently available emerging technology at this time or at this day this is some available emerging technology. The first one is artificial intelligence. When we say artificial intelligence, the theory and development of computer system able to perform tasks normally requiring human intelligence. Whenever to define the term artificial intelligence, this is derived from two terms. The first one is artificial itself. The first one is artificial itself. The second one is intelligence. When we say artificial, any human made is what we say what we call what we call is artificial intelligence is ability of think so when we combine together any machine or any robot which have own intelligence is what we call is artificial intelligence because of a machine have own intelligence each machine must have what visualize visual perception visualizing some perception that means from environment it must be visualizing something it must speech recognizing it must recognizing some speech that means high level language says and also it may take some decision making and also translating between language if the machine itself if the machine itself translating the language from one language to another language is also what we call is artificial intelligence because of that we can say that artificial intelligence is human made machine which have own intelligence is what we call it artificial intelligence the second concept is about blockchains system in which record of a transaction made in bitcoin on another cryptocurrency are maintained across several computers that are linked in peer-to-peer networks this blockchain is has a form of cryptocurrency which means which means from one one person may be may buy bitcoin from another person without third party that means person to person transaction is transaction or record transaction is what we call is blockchain you may refer from internet or we may google from internet when you say blockchain it is, it is made in a bitcoin on another cryptocurrency that means i may buy from someone someone may buy from me that means there is no central database to record the transaction the transaction in the transaction is the record of transaction is transferred from person to person the third one is argument reality the technology that superimpose a computer image on a user view of the real world that's providing composite view <coughs> simply we can say this argument reality is we can produce or we can generate some kind of image by using computer we can generate in some kind of image by using computer and argument on some real world for example if i argument of if i uh, generate some kind of image such like line line barking line barking with a sound and if i project in a class the student is really real students in a class but 
a line what I generate to generate in the project for the in a class is not real image. This means a composition of computer generated and the real world is what we call is augmented reality. When we come with the term virtual reality, virtual reality, the computer generated simulation of 3D image. Totally, in case of uh, augmented reality, user can perceive, control our senses. That means a student knows in a, a student uh, consider whenever it exists in a class, but student may see some kinds of barking line in a class. That barking line is generated by computer, so student control their emotion. But when we come with the virtual reality, a student cannot control their emotion. Totally, totally computer generated simulation of 3D image or is totally immersing user views. This virtual reality is most of the time by using uh, eyeglass, by using some kind of eyeglass or helmets, by using some kind of eyeglass helmets. So to totally, this virtual virtual reality changes the world, the real world. It is, but this augmented reality is not changing totally the real environment. Is. Cloud computing is a practice of uh, assessing and uh, controlling remotely remotely if for example you have on facebook whenever you whenever you enter your name and your password you enter and you enter your name and your password from your real uh, from your region for example if you are in ethiopia you may enter in the username and the password from ethiopia but the username and the password is accessed from america maybe from america server which exists at the server part in kenya that means if the user is storing if the user is storing managing processing the data uh, far from far apart from far apart or remotely is what we call is cloud computing uh, the other one is maybe a uh, deep open the uh, angular and react it is a computer science service angular is a complete javascript framework react is a javascript library which gives some kind of library for the uh, developer Deep and op is a developer and operator developer is a developer of some sort of enterprise software but the operator is if there is if the system needs some kind of maintenance it can operate a operator is what we call is a it operator so deep and operator is a channel how the developer and the operator communicate together to fix some problem exists in developed enterprise software internet of things is whenever many devices are interconnected together share data and sharing the data making some kinds of decision is what we call is internet of things so it is a system of interrelated computing device mechanically or digital machines provide with unique identifier and able to transfer data over a network without requiring human to human or without requiring human to computer interaction in case of iot no need of human interaction most of the time no need of human interaction each device are it's a automatically interconnect together share data together take some kinds of decision without human interaction interaction the other one is intelligence api intelligence api are application that use historical and real-time data in case of intelligence api this intelligence api may use some historically historic data about some events and also use some real-time data as an example whenever you may you may buy some shoes from the shop these are intelligence api storage of data that is what you call is historical data the real-time data is whenever you again go to your shop go sh go shop and buy something that is the real data by using the historical and the real data if the system itself gives some suggestion if it gives some suggestion for example in the first time whenever you buy some shoes if it is if the system suggests buy some kinds of other clothes that also if the project some he these guys may buy a uh, other board t-shirt or maybe other uh, shoes if it predicts such like we can say that it is intelligence api the other one is big data if we extremely if we assess extremely large data set if extremely assess large data set we can say big data robotic processor is the use of machine learning and artificial intelligence 
whenever capacity to handle high volume data in the repeatable task if their system itself are doing again and again that